Today we're going to look at the setup for the ice vest black. So included in your package is going to be the ice vest itself, your shoulder shrouds and swift clips, as well as your ice plates. First, you'll notice the ice plates now come front and back so you can have the exit port on the same side of your body. Let's go ahead and set up the ice vest black. So upon removing it, know that the waist belt is tucked inside and comes in two pieces. The ice vest itself is also folded for convenience. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unfold it and I'm gonna flip it to the back to get started. The first thing I'll do is I'll take my elastic belt with the Core Performance logo. I'm gonna make sure that that's facing in the correct direction. And I'm gonna go ahead and install with the loop field facing out first. I'm gonna take my other elastic side now, with the Core Performance logo, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. The adjustability of the Ice Vest Black allows you, based on waist size, to both spread out the, be the belt for larger waist size, or for smaller waists, I can overlap the belt on top of itself. So adjusting the waist is very simple. Now, once I do that, I will flip this over and the exact same thing happens on the front of the vest when I'm trying it on. I can either attach it out like this if I need more room, or I can overlap to make it tighter. The shoulder straps, to adjust those, you'll see these are also Velcro. So once I have the vest on, I will adjust the length of the shoulder straps accordingly. So if I end up here, I will mark now we're going to look at the shoulder shrouds. The shoulder shrouds will slip over the Velcro attachment to protect the field of Velcro from getting debris. The easiest way to install this is to slide it over the loop facing side so that it does not catch on any of the Velcro. Now that I have the shroud on, I will simply scrunch it down. I will now reattach my shoulder strap and then simply slide the shoulder strap back through the shroud. Now that my shrouds are installed, I'm going to install my two female swift clip buckles. Now, remember the opening needs to be facing down so you can actually install things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one. I like to start with the top first. And what I do is I just slide my finger under there, pull this through so that I get a good strong connection. Swivel this around, put this through over here, pull it all the way through and in. Now, the reason the bottom one is important to do second is because there is a little bit of fabric overlap to attach it here. So you want a little bit of extra room so that you have some play in there to get it tight. I'll go ahead and install the last one. So again, I will start with the top, slide it through, get it secure, spin it around, finger underneath so that I can slide through, pull it all the way through, and install. Now, if I'm installing a chest rig, I can simply remove the patch, undo the waistband, set my chest rig into the swift clips, remove my Velcro panel, and attach.